Warning, this video may contain foul language and mech on mech mayhem. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and uh, yeah, I want to put out another video. Uh, we got the Supernova C variant. So the Supernova is a mech that I haven't used in quite a while, and uh, it's a badass assault mech. It really is. I mean, these things are severe energy boats, and they got a couple variant. Well, they, they, I forget the name of the variant, but it's uh, like all missiles, and those things suck. If if they lock onto you, you're you're done for, done for. But the Supernova, although it's its design is is boggles my mind. It's a very very weird looking mech but it's it's a key assault mech to a lot of matches especially if you have one on your team um, if you got a supernova pilot that knows what he's doing uh, it could be a make or break really but the design of the supernova is just uh, it's uh, I don't know I'm not a big fan of the design it's just it, it looks funny to me but the mech itself is really good and um, I'm gonna say this right up front. I am going to overheat this. This mech is so hot; it's not even funny. And uh, we're not doing the stock build. It's close to the stock build, but I changed some things around. We are working with some heavy, heavy pulse lasers today, and um, quite a few of them. But yeah, um, I am most likely gonna overheat more than once every match. It just happens, especially in this mech. And um, yeah. But the design, it's it's a good design. It does have those energy uh, hard points up there near the uh, cockpit that are up pretty high. And then the arms, they're not that low. So uh, relatively, you've got some high energy hard points. The arms are kind of low, but, you know. And this thing has got jump jets. So, you know, when you got jump jets on such a huge mech, it just makes a bit of a difference there. But, yeah, it's, it's a good looking mech. And I put my ghost bear paint job on this because... Uh, even though I left the Ghost Bear clan and I joined the Davian, uh, uh, House Davian, I still like to uh, show my Ghost Bear support every now and then. But yeah, good looking Mac, really is. Let's take a look at what I got today. The Supernova is a 90 tonner, so it's a huge, huge mech, 90 tons, it's a monster. <clears throat> the Supernova C variant comes with 8 energy hardpoints, 8 of them. So yeah, uh, this mech came with four large pulse, two ER mediums, and two medium pulse. What I basically did was is I kept um, the two large pulses in each torso, because you got two in your right and two in your left, and I took off the ER mediums and two medium pulse lasers, and all I did was just add an extra large pulse. I wanted to keep it kind of simple with the weapons on this thing. <clears throat> and... Um, it actually increased my heat management so with the extra tonnage I did add uh, I think one or two extra double heat sinks which uh, the heat management still is only 1.18 out of 2 which is not that great so this is a very very hot 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 mech it comes with the standard 270 which is 48.6 kph so it it's super slow but that's to be expected with the mech of this size um, very very slow you're gonna always be in the back and you're always gonna be a target so there is that I'm working with Indo Steel as well. Uh, the mech came with double heat sinks and Indo Steel, so that was already upgraded for me. <clears throat> but five five large pulse lasers, uh, it's gonna get hot. I mean, just having two of them is already uh, gives you a heat spike larger than normal. So when you have five, you just kind of gotta space your shots. But it's really effective. It really, it's a really effective build. Five is really pushing the limit there in that heat. But hey, it's a supernova. That's what it's made for. Anyways, we've got, uh, let's see, um, 14 double heat sinks. I've got 14 of those, and i got two class 1 jump jets. I did have three. I took one off to add another heat sink, so I've got a couple jump jets for just a little bit of a lift if I need to get over something, which is nice to have. Um, okay, so the C actually comes with no enhancements. I really don't have any on here. Uh, armor points. Armor points in my CT is 106 in the front, 10 in the rear, 66 in my right torso, and 66 in my left, 10 in the rear, 60 in my arms, and 69 in the legs. 
So everything's basically maxed out except for my legs. <clears throat> what I did was <clears throat> I added some extra armor points to my CT from my legs. That's really all I did. And I'm keeping 10 points in the rear just to, just because. Um, but five large pulse lasers really does. Uh, it's a good build on the supernova. Um, now it is hot. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but it's it's very very hot. Um, so uh, really, it's all about spacing your shots. Um, and I'm I'm not always good at that. You know, sometimes I'm going to be in a, the heat of a battle, and I'm my heat my heat's going to be way up, and I'm going to have to take a shot, and I'm going to overheat. Um, uh, riding override or engaging override because you don't want your mech to shut down is a dangerous move. I haven't mastered it completely. Um, it's not it's not as easy as just turning your override off. Um, your mech will implode uh, if you don't do it right. <clears throat> I'm not Baradol or molten metal over here. You know he knows how to do it somehow. I don't know. Every time I try to do it, I end up dying. So we're not going to be doing that. But yeah, hopefully we'll get a cold map or, or something. Uh, be in my favor. Frozen City or Polar Highlands would be nice to get. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried the Supernova, it's really a mech you should definitely check out. It's 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 really really cool. It's a cool mech, and uh, they're they're you know what they've got. Most of them, of course, are energy based. Um, they're just big energy boats, and then you've got a variant or two that are based around missiles. And I believe. <coughs> The hero, the boiler. It's called the boiler. It's the super. It's this mech's hero version, and it comes with ballistics, which is something that I really need to check out because I like ballistics. I like the DACA. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit the uh, get into a match, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. And we are dropping in, dropping in, Polar Highlands. So great, that's awesome for me, Polar Highlands in the Supernova C variant. This is very, very hot. It's so hot, it's not even funny. But this is going to be fun, oh yeah. So I think the max range on the large pulse lasers is like 800 and something it may let's just estimate I'm not it's not exact but let's just say it's like 815 meters and optimal of course is like 625 around there I've got some range quirks so it just it adds a little bit to it um, but 620 20 or so meters is not bad for large pulse lasers considering um, and that's definitely the range you want to be in, but it doesn't always work like that, especially like on this map, you know, um, that's where I would like to be and be able to continue to be at, be at that range. Um, so we're going to fall in behind this king crab here and that grasshopper. I'm slower than the king crab is. <clears throat> but uh I do if you if you like assault max I would recommend the supernova. If you like that laser vomit kind of action, you know. Target spotted. This was another like key mech that they put out. Um you know there's a, a, a 
a small list of mechs that PGI has put out in the past two years that have really just stuck out. And I, I think the Supernova makes that list. Yeah. I, I would say the Supernova made that list, so. It's definitely a popular choice. It's just a, a mean, a mean assault mech. I was also thinking about heavy, large lasers. Alright, so let's... Two king crabs. Can't really make any moves at the moment. We've got to get closer without taking too much damage. That's the thing with the salts. You know, unless you're carrying uh, ER large lasers or PPCs or, or gas rifles or auto cannons. Um, it's gotta be tough. There are so many missiles flying right now. This is insane. This is insane how many missiles are going off right now. Like, it's actually uh, messing me up a little bit here. Let's go ahead and move forward while they're ducking down. All that LRM fire kind of made them back up. So we should definitely go in and uh, New target acquired. Yep, let's keep heading towards the center here. Looking at that Ebon Jag, we just killed him. We took him out, um, but that Ebon Jag had been hurt earlier. I just was able to catch him as he was peeking out. So that's one quick kill right there. We're focusing on this Mad Cat right here as well. The CT is ooh, there we go. We just took out the Mad Cat as well. Let's see if we can. There's another Ebon Jag over there. Shit. Trying to get this other supernova, but I think he's going to get got here in a second. This looks like we're about to push in. <laughs> that was a good move by us, going around like that. Uh, heading straight in could have been catastrophic. Oh, there we go. We got another kill, but I did overheat due to that. That is going to happen. Going after this nova right here, so if we can get another kill. No, I don't like it. Damn assassin. He just blew off his arm. Looks like oh we looks like we got an atlas down here. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh man. I am the king of overheating on this thing. Is he really trying to take me on? He doesn't have a choice. Oh yeah. And that's what I get. What's that, like five times? <laughs> uh, well at least we got four kills. And they... It, this was... A complete annihilation on 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 their team. We we annihilated them quick. 
<coughs> so of course I'm gonna play another match. I don't like leaving my matches like uh, where it's just so easy, you know. I like a little bit of competition in them. But we did get four easy kills, and large pa large pulse lasers on assaults I've noticed whenever I use them, it's easier to rack up kills. Um, they're just good weapons to do that. They really focus that, they, they pinpoint that damage onto whatever um, spot you're uh, targeting. And it's, uh, and they, sometimes the same thing goes with uh, auto cannons, or uh, not auto cannons, but sometimes the same thing goes with ballistics as uh, LBX uh, versus, like LBX versus an AZ-10. Which would you rather use? It really just depends. Um, AC-10 is really going to get that pinpoint damage on that component or wherever you're aiming at. Uh, the LBX is definitely going to spread it. Um, I tend to like using LBX uh, auto cannons with SRMs. So there's that. But sometimes I use regular ACs. So I mean, who knows? Really, because it's your preference. Da, 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 da. See if I can uh, make my mech implode. That's the match. That is the match. Four kills. I can't imagine we did too much damage because I was kind of out of range until the end. Yeah, <laughs> oh wow. Uh, four kills, seven assists. I didn't even touch 400 yet. I was close to it, but not even. So that's uh, still, still a good job. It's just I was got to be in that range to get that higher damage. So let's go ahead and play another match. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems. And we are on HPG manifold. With the five large pulse laser supernova. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pulse lasers, baby. Pulse lasers. And I got jump jets. So I don't have to go around. Which is great. Fuel at 25%. Domination. So let's just take the top and hold it. As long as we can. It's easy to say. You never know what your team's going to do. And also being a, an assault mech on the top and not having um, support or backup. Yeah, it's a, that's almost a death sentence. I think it's time to do another light mech very soon. I need to do a light mech. I need to definitely do a light in the next video or next two videos. I don't do enough light mechs, and there's only a limited amount of light mechs. Like uh, the light mechs have the least number of mechs in this game, but um, there's some pretty good ones. Thank 
destroyed. Come on. My left my left arm is just jacked. Target spotted. I'm gonna survive this, I'm not fucking dying. Not today. Top. Didn't didn't get too far, did you, buddy? There's a champion moving in. I'm gonna jump down here. I did lose my left arm, which unfortunately I lost two large pulse lasers. So now I only have three of them, but that's okay. That's enough, and we won't have to watch our heat too much with only three. Target destroyed. New target acquired. That champion is down there in that little corner. And this mad cat is going right after him. I'm sorry, Sun Spider. I could have sworn there was a champion over here. Shit, there is. Heat level critical. Right person critical damage. Heat sink destroyed. Warning incoming missile. New target acquired. Man, now they got the high ground. We are on the low ground. All right, let's head this way. Try to push our way back into this. Come on, guys. We got this. We got to hold this. We got to hold this. Come on. Get, let's get this Cyclops. Okay, Cyclops just jumped down. Target destroyed. All right, Cyclops is down. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Oh wow, we do have a king crab in the basement. Let's go ahead and uh, fire at this guy here. There we go. We just took out that king crab. Alright, I need to be very careful here. Let's see. Target destroyed. Mm, so it's late. It's like acquired. two in the morning. Oh man, it's late. That's what happens. You find yourself playing MechWarrior online. It's super super late times in the night well technically morning but that's just how Target good the game destroyed. is that's just the way it works i think that's it good game, guys. that was a we had a pretty good fight there they took out a good number of us too it wasn't like complete annihilation i think it was like twelve to eight i think they killed eight of us so it was pretty close Oh yeah, two kills, ten assists. Yeah, yeah, we did a good amount. We did better damage than last match. But I still need to work on that. And normally I could pull a high amount of damage with the supernova, but tonight I'm just... I'm off of it. I guess I'm still trying to get used to my desktop. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you probably tomorrow. I want to be doing videos as much as I can. So, see you then. Fuzzy Nova, out.